G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, and on today's episode, we're gonna finish building our carport. So in the previous episodes, we've been building our carport. Well, now it's time to install the roof sheeting. Now, the real only instructions that we have that talk about it, just say that you want to, uh, where the overlap of the sheeting goes, that needs to be away from your predominant wind. So our predominant breeze actually blows towards me now. So we'll start at this end and work our way along. Otherwise, the only other thing we've got to make sure is we just get it nice and square and we'll just check it every now and again as we put it up so that we're not off on a real bad angle at the end. So let's do this. progressing quite well. We have three roof sheets left to go. And just before we put those up, just thinking ahead of what else has to happen after that. And the step after that is putting the ridge capping on. And to put the ridge capping on, we need to do a little bit of cutting out. So let me just show you what we're doing here. When the ridge capping goes on, it needs to sit over the lumps in the corrugated iron on the roof sheeting. And so to make that work, you need to actually physically cut all that out. It just comes, the edge is really smooth normally. And so what we've started doing is cutting all of these out. And you can just do it up on top of the roof. But what I did was put a mark where all the peaks are. And now I've set this up with the spare sheet, that well, a couple of spare sheets that we've got and then just mark in a line and then I can drag this ridge capping across here and then just cut them out. So this way I can work in the shade, I'm not up on the roof in the sun cutting all this out. And then once we've cut it out, we can put it straight up on there and then screw it down. So once we've done this one, and I'll do most of the other one as well, uh, and then we'll put the final sheets up and screw everything down from there. ready to put this ridge capping on over the top here and then I remembered what we haven't done yet 
is fold up each piece here so we should be able to put a shifter just in the valley and tilt it up and what that does is stops any rain getting blown up here and then going and down in there so yes almost forgot to do that still have a couple of roof sheets to go up but the roof is a bit damp at the moment and I don't want to be climbing up there while it's wet so we're going to leave that dry and we can move on to something else and that is installing the gutters all right so I've spun this gutter around the key thing to remember when doing this is just be aware of the way they're going to sit on the shed or carport so why I've set, spun them around this way is both these ends are the ends that I need to put the end caps on. And I've double checked, made sure that. So the end cap just has a little ridge on it, a little bump on it. And that's gonna line up with this bump on the side here. So it will go on No, oh, it's made lighter, I reckon. So apparently this ridge lines up with the bottom. Yep, and it's gonna sit on like that. And basically the only other thing to remember is remove the plastic coating around the edge here before you silicone it. So it's time to cut the hole for our downpipe. And so what I've done is I've measured over there what the distance needed to be, and then marked it out here, sat this on here, and then just marked on the inside. So now I'll just make sure when I cut this, I'll just cut it just outside of the line, just so it's a bit bigger, and then this should slide through from the inside. I just wanted to point out a couple of little rust spots that are here which are actually bits of metal from when we've been doing stuff on the roof that have sat down on here. Now this still has the protective layer off, so once we pull that off, that will be fine. But that's why you've got to be really careful about whenever you work on the roof, cleaning the roof off straight away, sweep it off, wipe it off, get any little metal shavings off, because otherwise that's exactly what'll happen. It'll start rusting and then you're fighting it forever. But because this has got the protective film on the gutter itself, I'm sure is fine. Uh, we'll take that off and check it soon, but we're just marking it first. So we'll get this cut. So there we have it. These two pieces make up one side of our guttering. Still need to join it together, but I'm gonna wait till we're ready to go and make sure that the length is correct where we join it. But otherwise, joining will be exactly the same thing where they just slide together and pop rivet them and a bit of silicon in there as well. The roof is all done, the barge capping's done. Still got to do down the sides a bit, just to finish off along the edges here. 
we are done. So glad. Well, it's time to install the gutters. And first of all, we need to install the gutter bracket. So what I've done is I've measured in 200 mil at either side. And that's where the first bracket will go on each end and then just evenly space them out from there. So for me, that was every 1200 mil. They say about every meter is where you want them. So 1200 mil will work well. So these brackets are gonna sit up here and then the gutters will drop in on it. Uh, so this little tab that sticks up, we need to bend that down, which is really easy just to do with your hands. And then when the gutter locks into place, this will actually fold down and help hold the gutter in as well. Also, what I've done is I've marked what height these all need to be on. So for me, the guttering is going to go on a slight angle down towards this way. So at that end, we're going to have the bracket basically as high up as we can possibly get it. And I've run a string line out and just marked a line where every bracket's going to go, just so there's a bit of fall. Now, our paperwork tells me that I should have about 20 millimetres of fall all the way down. So I'll grab my battery drill and we'll chuck up the screws in this and then we'll do the rest of them. It's time to install the barge capping, which is the piece of metal that goes over the edge here. So this barge capping needs to go over here. It needs to go underneath this loop. And in a perfect world, we'll find a way to be able to seal this up a bit. Honestly, I don't know why we have this sort of ridge capping. A flatter piece would have been a lot better and a lot easier for us, but that's okay. We can handle it. Also, what we need to do, which I didn't realize at the time when I was installing the ridge cap, but we just need to trim this back across here somewhere so that when the barge capping sits over it, uh, basically water will run off here and then if it needs to, it'll run along the barge capping. So over the ridge cap to the barge cap and, and away. Um, because it's got these bit of a lip here and that, I'm just going to trim this back, so I might just do it on a slight angle, make it look a bit neater on both sides, and yeah, then we'll bring the, um, the barge capping up here. Install all the barge capping now. Sort of worked out how to make it finish up there on the peak. I'll show you that in a moment. But basically, it is just screwed in to the purlins on the top and then on the sides here we have a screw as well every now and again. So, to finish off the peak, we had to silicon some of it. We built this bit of a metal lip. And then a couple of screws back down to hold it on. Just a bent piece of metal. But otherwise, just screwed in through the top into the purlins as well. Same spacing as the, all the rest of the roof sheeting. Well, the final thing we need to do is install our gutters. So what we're going to do is first sit them up there measure it out just to make sure how much overlap each of them we're going to do and then we'll join them together and put them up for the final time. Mm -hmm. 
gutters are on which is great and now the last step to do is to put the downpipes on you just saw me screw this one on I've just put one screw up the top and so in the kit we actually have three lengths at 1.8 meters long six feet I think it was and I don't understand why they've sent this because it was 2.4 meter high carport I would have thought they just send two at 2.4 and we not have to put a join in this but what I need to do now well I have a couple options one is I could just put it converted to a round 90 mil pipe normal down pipe and just run that off and away or I can cut this and use it and that's what I'm going to do is work out where this has to go cut it and then put a bend in that at the bottom so I still will need to convert it to a 90 mil round, but we'll just do it right at the base. But anyway, we're gonna use what they've sent us. All right, so we've got our downpipe affixed to the gutter up top. And so we just need to extend it. And so what I'm gonna do is just hold this here, mark it, have a little bit of an overlap here, because we'll join the two together and just a couple of pop rivets in the sides will hold that uh, and so I want my gutter to finish sort of just above the concrete and then we'll convert it to the round pipes and take it away from there sort of thing so I'll grab my pen we'll mark what we need to here cut off a bit and that's it there's our downpipe done the other side I'm going to work out once I've actually got some more fittings and working out where the stormwater is going to run away from so that is fine the only other thing that we're meant to do is install this bracket which is meant to I'm assuming attached to the post but that doesn't work because of how far the gutter is away from the post. So I'm not sure what their design idea is with this. Um, the only way you could do it is notch this out to angle in and back. And I don't want to do that because when I get down here to the slab, obviously I want to bring it straight down and out. So I'm going to put the, the PVC fittings on the bottom first and then look and then I might even get some other metal to strap around and, and attach it. Um, but that's what came with the kit and I would like to use it but at this point in time we can't. Well there we go guys, we have finished our carport. Apart from 
the downpipes. We still got to work out what we're doing with that, but otherwise it is done. We're really happy with it. it. Did take a lot longer than what I expected it to take, but I think that's just about normal with any project I take. But the space is fantastic. Everything was there in the kit, which was one of the things we wondered about, but we didn't have to go out and buy anything else. So everything was provided, which was good as part of the, the kit with, that we got. So now let's just have a look at it. certainly going to enjoy this space but that is all for this episode so thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button that would be fantastic and we'll catch you next time god bless